Now then, just a quick information here, little short video on flushing toilets and the action of the water flushing. So, I was rescuing some bricks from a certain skip a while ago and in amongst that skip there were some virtually new cisterns. That's, that's the top part that flushes the water. Yeah? It's called a cistern. Yeah? And they were the plastic type and this is one of the internals. And when you pull the handle it lifts that. Okay. So there was a couple of these and I thought right we'll have them because otherwise they'll just get thrown in the waste. Well they were in a skip so they'd end up not being recycled properly and as we know plastic is a huge problem now. Now plastic's great in the right situation. Well, one of the problems I've come across is when you send plastic for recycling, say for instance at the local recycling centre, a great deal of it just ends up in the incinerator. So it's not as if the plastic is recycled and reused, a lot of it is just burnt. And of course as we know plastic is made from oil or uh, LPG or something like that and um, you know what they're doing is burning it off so that they can produce more. Not a good idea. Anyway, rant over on that one. But plastic in its right place is a very good thing. So, we had um, a cistern that start, was starting to give problems. You'd have to flush it sort of three times to make it work. To pull the lever three times. And um, then, of course, I picked these up and I'm just going to zoom in and show you what I found because this is the one that I took out. Right, so make sure we know what we're doing. This stands upright so that sticks out the bottom of the cistern tank with a big threaded knot and then the flush pipe goes in there and there's a threaded collar. Okay, you got it? Forget about the, uh, the filling system because this is the emptying system. So, when you pull the lever, that lifts up and then springs back. Okay. And let's have a look inside. And we'll zoom in a bit. And look. I think we need a pencil. There we go. There's a split. This is a, a plastic diaphragm and there's a split there. Okay, so no wonder it was giving trouble. Bearing in mind this is probably, I think I fitted this one as a general refurbishment in about 19... 19... well I'm not sure maybe 2002 something like that so this is one of the ones I got out of the skip and it's got a clear diaphragm but it has no holes in it and the reason me I wouldn't say it's robust plastic but it's um, it's not carrier bag type stuff you want something a bit thicker than that so what we're going to do is we lift this up and this will with a bit of jiggery pokery come out and then that's all there is in these things there's no other valves or anything so what it does is it pulls and it pulls a load of water and it pushes it up and over there and as the water comes down there it pulls the rest of the water from the tank down which is why it's called a siphon because you put the load of water there and then the weight of this water coming down here to the flush pulls the rest of the water up until there's air admitted 
to here. Yeah. Bearing in mind this, the water level in the tank is about here, that being the bottom. So it sucks the water and down there and then the water level comes down, lets the air in and it stops. And then of course the cistern starts refilling. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a spring. From experiment on this particular one, this figure of eight plastic just lifts off. Okay, and then this lifts off. Now look at the state of that. Now in some parts of the set they in the world they would say, what a one and eight. So we could just cut a fresh one of these and it might be a little bit tricky cutting those holes. But if you had the right sort of um, hole stamps, you could do it. But otherwise, mark it out and use a scalpel or a very sharp craft knife to cut those. And I'm, I'm expect, well, I assume that these two holes have some particular use, although they go up against here. So I'm not sure. So just give me a second. So this is a bit of a chicken feed bag. It's about the right thickness. And as you can see, we just cut it out. Maybe, you see this is eroded here, a braided, a braided there. So make sure you make it big enough. Recut it, put it back together. Jobs are good. Or find one in your local skip that's brand new and replace it. But even better, you've got a, let me zoom out, you've got a flush that's not working properly, you can take it apart, you can make a new diaphragm, put it back to bed to, together it's a no parts required fix isn't it really you've just recycled a bit of plastic and you're reusing the original so all the fittings are all in line because one of the problems with using something from well I imagine this this orange one here is only maybe one or two years old and this one is 20 years old so things are slightly in a different place and but the one that I fitted was the best match and it works. The only thing there is there's a boss here which takes a through screw thread to hold the top on. The other one, the boss is in a slightly different place. So we can't actually screw the top on. And of course this one doesn't have a boss at all. Now I suppose if you were that way inclined and this one was totally wasted you could cut that out with a Dremel and work out where it needs to be and hot glue a little that little boss with a little bit of a flat area around it onto there. Now, this is just giving you the ideas and those who have the inclination will run with them. So uh, hopefully you found this interesting. Comments and discussion always welcome and I will catch up with you very soon. Cheers for now.